Hello, 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 everybody. Arriba, arriba. Woo <laughs> Today we're looking at spinner cards. I've realised I need to put my light on. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's better. Now you can see the cards better. <laughs> So hello everybody. Do you like my little accessories? We're talking Mexico today. Woo! I love these little. <laughs> I won't be able to keep them on very long because I can't actually see to craft. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Pip Tob and I run QueenPipCards.com and the Card Making Know How membership, where I teach card makers to go from beginner card makers to confident card makers in four easy stages. Um, welcome. I love the fact that everybody is just chatting away amongst themselves on the face uh, on the um, YouTube chat here. Very nice that you're all up and running and loaded looking good hello melly uh we've got deborah we've got melly we've got sharon we've got fiona we've got um trisha from in facebook um we've got angela hello yes thank you very much i love the little avocado look at these little avocados aren't they so cute with their little hats on <laughs> uh and my little hat my little, i'm gonna take my look i'm gonna have to take my avocados off though because i can't actually see <laughs> to craft <laughs> and then I've got my little Mexico hat. Why are we talking about Mexico today? Well, we're going to do a spinner card. And um, we're going to do a little spinner card with this fabulous little set. If I can just do this here. Look, you've got a little Mexican guy with his moustache and his hat. And then we've got some hot red hot chili peppers and tacos. And then as you keep spinning it, which is I'm doing badly from sideways on. Um, but as you keep spinning it, you, you get a little avocado. Look at that. Oh, isn't it cute? Come on, keep spinning. There we go. <laughs> And then the front, it says, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Spinners. I've got another one here. This one's got little cats, a little cat on the, on the front. I'll show you them better when we do hands down. Uh, but I'm also celebrating today. Um, so hi. Oh, look, we've got loads of people coming on. Hi, Nola. Um, hi, Kim. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Wendy. Fantastic. We've also got somebody on from Facebook who I don't know who you are. You need to um, make sure that um, StreamYard knows who you are. Uh, and to do that, you can go here, streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. Say yes, and they'll um, only find your name, nothing else. Uh, and then I'll know who you are when you make a comment. All righty, so that's that. Uh, so hi, everybody. Yes, so I'm celebrating today. Today, uh, last month, I officially earned the Stampin' Up! incentive trip for next year, and it is to Mexico. And so my upline uh who i'm with if you don't know stamping up is a direct sales uh, company and that means that i am in a team so i have an upline and i have team who are in my team royal stampers and i'm their upline um so yes so last month my upline sent me a box of goodies uh including these funny head things i've got loads of them and of course my lovely avocado glasses aren't they great <laughs> <laughs> fantastic um along with a whole bunch of goodies so and she used obviously taco fiesta which is a stamp set uh which has got all lots of things over it and i fell in love with it from what she'd done so i thought i would use it today to make our spinner cards and show you some of the fabulous things that she's made she made um all these little tags for me and they all have um little taco designs on so i'm going to share those with you um i don't go until next may so we might do some more mexico stuff uh, next april uh so we might do some more mexico stuff in um april in the lead up to to me going off um but yes it seems you know you earn it so early and then you have to wait obviously for it to come around but i we're looking forward to that so let's go um hands down uh, let's do this. Oh, no, don't remove that. Let's do this. There we go. Now you can see that. I need to put some lights on the subject. Oop, come on. Lights, camera, action. Okay, let's put this one on as well. Now hopefully we can see a bit better. Smashing. Got loads of lights coming in today. Okay, so we're going to be looking at spinner cards, but I just wanted to give you a quick review of these. These were made by my upline, Diane. She's she's so sweet. Every year for a few years now, she has made me a little get ready for your incentive trip box. It's such a cute idea. Uh, and so each one of these tags was attached to something like this one. 
Can you tell what this one is? I haven't opened this one yet. Um, I think this one was on the other one. But they're all tied up with string like this. She's even, I mean, it's a great showcase to show you what you can do with the with stamps. She's actually show, um, stamped all over the um, tissue paper here as well, which is great. Um, so the whole gift, if you know what I mean, is is beautiful because it's all got this, but she ha she's sellotaped it. I hate ripping it. It's dreadful to rip it. But anyway, open it up and I have got... In case you couldn't guess, <laughs> a pair of maracas. I got two of these, so that'll come in handy. I'm going to take them. Um, but she also has done me things like this, which I can guess that this is a spicy dip in here. So I'm going to open that another day. Uh, and she's, I had enchilada pack and. Um, uh, salsa and the, I've got look a bag of Doritos <laughs> there are other obviously nachos available um, so yeah she did a whole bunch of stuff and of course a card isn't that gorgeous holy guacamole and Mexico book <laughs> she always sends us a travel guide which is great so uh, really handy to have a look at that so I just I just thought but aren't they so cute I mean look at this little guy with his little winky eye and then they've got and then these ones with the little, ooh, <laughs> and the little llamas or whatever they are. I don't know what they are. I think they're llamas. And then limes and nachos and tacos and oh, all kinds of things. So when I thought, I, do you know what? I'm going to make a spinner card. I was in, I was inspired. And I like to tell you who inspires me. So my upline inspired me. Um, this was one I had received from my friend Jane. Um, and it says, I'll always be here for you. Um, I love hanging around with you, which is great. Um, and then it says, Hey there, I think it was Jane. I'm sure it was, it was either Jane or Nikki it might've been Nikki, but I think it was Jane. Um, you're just perfect. It says now you'll notice if I put this one down and I put this one down, which is the one I made, you'll notice that they don't go right to the bottom. There's like a bigger gap, top and bottom. And that's because I'm using um, A4 size cardstock. And the die is obviously sized to work with American or letter sized cardstock, Canadian sized cardstock. So just to let you know that you will have a gap at the bottom if you're using this particular die. But you can do this. You can make these on your own without the dies. I just have a set of dies, which I'll show you so you can see the mechanism and understand how they work. But spinner cards are so cute. They're so much fun because they give your recipient something to do, which is always nice. And you can hide little secret messages, or in this case, avocados. I mean, he's my favourite. <laughs> is he not just the cutest little thing going? So much fun. So I thought I'd show you how to make these. Um, and then you can obviously make them your own way, however you fancy, uh, with or without the dies. Um, so let's get started. What you're going to need is you're going to need, um, if you're going to use the dies, you're going to need this set of dies, which is from, it's called, uh, it's from Stampin' Up Cut called Give It A Whirl Dies. And it has all of these things in it, plus the big piece to cut out that shape that you need and the little and the spinner that goes behind so you could do this if you had a scalloped circle just find the central point and work out where it sits etc you can create this yourself if you want to if you don't have the dies okay you just need a circle that's going to fit within something that you've taken a little notch out of um so let's I'm going to do a slightly different one this time around to the one I did, but I am going to use the holy guacamole because I just think that's just so fun. Ah, oh, these taco fiestas. Uh, but I also have another one here with um, the new whale watching stamp set. Oh, go away. There we go. This is the new whale watching stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I love this and it's got orcas and I just, and waves. And I just think actually, you know, anything that would fit within these, so you could have him coming up like that. 
although you'd have to be careful, you'd have to mask him off. But the little one would definitely fit the stars and the moon and the clouds and the little waves would fit as well. So you could definitely do something, um, I think, with this stamp set too. Um, so, but let's get going with the Taco Fiesta, which has these fantastic um, little loads and loads and loads of little stamps in this. So cute. Uh, great for blending, using your blending, um, your blends with, sorry. So I've got a whole heap of very colourful um, stamping blends, which are my alcohol markers. But of course, you could use them with watercolour pencils or just just stamping two-step stamps or something like that. You can use them with whatever you want, really. Now, I've forgotten I need my big machine. So let's get my big machine out. Put it on the side, but I'm going to put it on the floor in a minute so that you don't have to see that go in. Right. Get my plates. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of designer series paper. That's this. Okay, so any pattern paper. And we're going to just use that to cut out this shape. Okay. I wanted you to see it being done, as it were. So we'll pop that down. I'm just going to run it through. If you're here from the show, I met so many new people over the weekend from the show, uh, the Farnborough International uh, Creative Craft Show. If you're here from the show, or if you met me for the first time in real life on, at the show, uh, then just type show in, because it would be lovely to see how many of you actually managed to find me after we had a conversation over the weekend. Uh, whether you're watching live or on replay, it would be just great to hear from you. Uh, and everyone, I am going to pick the prize winner from the weekend. It will be coming out later on today. I just had to get myself slightly sorted out. Honestly, this place is still full of boxes. Can't believe I sold loads of stuff, but I still brought back loads of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I just can't have to get my room slightly sorted enough so that I could actually do this video today. Uh, but, yeah, it was great to see so many people. And people from the group that I've never met before uh, came along to say hi, which was lovely and from my page too. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to cut out this um, this circle, okay, which we're going to stamp onto. So pop that in. just want you to see all the mechanism pieces that you need. And then I've decided that this time I'm going to do circles, whoops, a circular opening, because you can. You can change it up. So this... For this one, for example, it's got this half a, well, like a third of a triangle. No, Pip, get your, get your, get your shapes right. A third of a circle um, shape, but you can also do um, actual circles. Uh, and then they've got, what else have they got? A heart shape in here, um, a square box in here. Yeah, got loads of different ones that you can do. So we need that, we need that, we need that. Okay, then the final thing that we're going to do is, what have I done with my piece? Just cut it out. There we go, this piece. So the final thing you need to do, let's just move that over a smidge, is you need to work out where you're going to have your things popping up and showing. Now, since the circular um, spinny bit is going to be on this side, I kind of like them being over here. So you need to line up your whatever you've decided your shape is that you're going to have as your opening. So this opening here, you need to line the hole up with the hole that's in the middle of this paper. Okay, because that gets made when you use the machine, when you, you when you put the die through, it makes a hole in the middle. If you're doing this manually, then you'll have to find somewhere, make a little hole in it, and then line a circle up with where that hole would be so you know where you're going to be stamping. The dies just make it easier, but it is possible to do it. And then you just run that through your machine again. And then you have your mechanism. Okay. I'll keep this machine here just in case. 
normally I'd have it on my side desk, but my side desk, if you can see, maybe you can't, it's completely full. So <laughs> that's not going to happen. OK, and you notice that I put the washi on the inside of the die because I don't want to have any chance of it tearing on the outside, which is the bit that's going to be showing. As it happens, this has worked perfectly. So now you have a nice circle that you can use for something else. So that's going to go in my pot of things to use. You know, I have my pot of pot of shapes and things to use. OK, so that's that. So we've done all of that die cutting now. And now I'm going to show you how we put it together and do the fun stamping pieces. Who's made one of these spinny things before? Anybody here made a spinny thing before? That would be nice. Hey, Cassidy, we, I saw you at the show. That was cool. It's nice to see you and your mum at the show. All right, so this is going to go in here. And that's going to line up with that hole there. And then this is where we're going to do our stamping. OK, so that's going to go on. I've decided I'm going to use brown this time as my background rather than the black that I used here with the zingy green. I'm just going to change up the colours slightly. So you have these indentations when you do your dye uh, using the um, Give It A Whirl dye. And that's from the die cut. I don't know if you can see that. But that helps you get that position. You know that this is what's going to be showing. Um, but because we're using a circle, you need to just make sure that that you know where the edges are. So if you've got small stamps like we have, um, you can literally just stamp straight through. So I quite like the idea of some limes. I think my taco wrap is going to be too big. Yeah, it's going to be too big. So we could have a bowl of guacamole. That's going to fit. That's nice. Um, I think my little cactus will fit. Oh, just about. Yeah, the cactus will fit. That's good. And then if we're going to have some limes, we could have some chilies. Where's my bigger chili? Will that fit? That's a bit big for that. Let's do the small chilies again. Small chilies, limes and tacos. Maybe we can fit the little tacos in. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to show it. They don't have to be perfect. They can be a little bit off. So you could have tacos. And chilies. Oh, we could just have chilies and limes. Maybe just have chilies and limes. There we go. Something different. OK, so that's that. Now we know what we're stamping. Always a good thing. Um, now you get your blocks. And we'll put these on. Like so. I've got lots of little ones here for the chilli and the lime. Rose says she's made one and they're fun. That's good. Anybody else here made a made a spinner? Or maybe this is new to people. Maybe maybe we've got people going, wow, that's amazing, which would be good and amazing. And yes. Um, and if anybody's wondering why I've got a, um, a silly Mexico hat on my head, it's because we talked earlier, you need to go back and rewatch the um the fact that I have earned the incentive trip with Stampin' Up next year, so I will be going to Mexico, yay, with my lovely husband Sean, before anyone asks whether I've got luggage space. <laughs> the answer is no, sadly. He wants to come. So uh, okay, so I'm just inking up my cactus and I'm going to stamp him through the hole. Because that's the great thing. When you've got um stamps that you can see through um, and you've got a positioning thing you can literally just go yay let's just stamp through there and I know it's going to fit all right and I know it's going to fit because it's going to fit with the hole now I actually I'd like some eyes on him I think we can do a little face let's do a little face um, let's do this little face I don't want him being shocked let's not have him shocked let's have him normal <laughs> let's have him normal there we go Good surprise. Cheryl came to see us at the show which was nice oh and Sharon says then these are new to her 
She's never attempted one yet. Excellent. Oh, Cheryl says not yet. Either. Jackie says new. Oh, great. We've got some new people. New um, new spinner, new spinner card people. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm lining up my next piece. Again, putting just you can't see that. You can't see that, can you? It's too far away. So you line up the position at the back with this hole, with this hole at the front with these dies or with one that you've made and then you stamp through and then you spin it round okay line up the hole again so this is just to make sure that you get it in the right place really but you can do it with a bit of guesswork now i'm going to do some guacamole uh no actually i might do my chilies first do some chilies in the lime and then do some guacamole there's a couple of chilies these are so cute these little chilies they stamp beautifully and then I'll do some limes, maybe another chilli. Don't know. <laughs> really cute. So cute. Look at that. They're all in a whirl there. That's perfect. And then I'll spin it around again. So again, now you're coming to the third piece. And pop that on here. I mean, you could do as many as you wanted. You could do three, four, five. It's just as depend, dependent on the size of your circle, the size of your hole that you're putting it through, and the size of your stamps. And now we're going to do some guacamole. Okay. He's a bit lopsided, but it doesn't matter because he's a spinner, so he'll spin. And then he'll look straight. <laughs> just depends on how you spin okay so now we're going to take that off and we've finished that part of the stamping now comes the fun part we're going to color them in so we're going to start off with the lime and for the lime i've got some parakeet party here um so we're just going to because it's a nice bright zingy color Just pop some of that there. Is this the light? This is the light. And then we'll do we'll, we'll do the light all over, but we'll come back in and do some darker bits in a minute. Leave those sort of edgy bits clear. And then I'll come back in with my dark parakeet party and do the skin. That might actually need to be darker than that, mightn't it? Lime says quite dark. Maybe a bit of got some uh, granny apple green here as well. We'll do the light version of that. There we go. That just darkens that down just a smidge. Sorry, I'm a bit croaky today because I've been talking for three days at the show. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, Taz. Hi, Taz. Um, yes. It was a very busy show and I talked a lot, uh, but it was great. We had a great time at the show. So loads of stuff, which is lovely. Met loads of new people, which was also great. Uh, now, why has that gone dark all of a sudden? Come on, lighten up again. There we go. Um, so, yeah, it was great fun. Really good. Uh, so, yeah, it was nice to see everybody again out and about. Wasn't as busy, I don't think, as um, last. Well, I think it was about the same as last year, to be honest. But... Um, it, the flow seemed to be better. Everyone seemed to be spread out amongst the days a little more. But honestly, if you've never been to the show, it was a really good show. Everyone was very impressed. Um, there were lots of paper crafting and um, also art supplies in fantastic art supplies. They were great. So um, I got some uh, pens that we don't stock and pencils that we don't stock, which I'll be using in my membership very shortly um and yeah just some fun stuff to use in my upcoming master classes so looking forward to those they were great fun to buy uh i always like to have a little shop when you can you know but they put me opposite a flapjack stand right i mean honestly they're so mean so oh is this the light one so um yeah we were we were a little bit sort of um distracted by the gorgeous flapjacks and then next to that they had a donut stand and a cheese stool so, 
uh, because they were kind of in the middle of the show. So they put the food stand sort of in the middle of the show, which was nice so that everyone could eat a little bit as they went round. And it was lovely, but, you know, the temptation was strong, right? <laughs> so we did, we did, we did end up with, um, well, we purchased some, um, I purchased some cheese because I love a bit of cheese. I would love it. Gotta love a good cheese, especially a good English you know different types of english cheeses are just lovely um and then we purchased some flapjacks obviously because that was our lunch um and then and then they gave us some donuts at the end of saturday which was very nice so i popped a little picture of me and alison eating the donut up on <laughs> which you may have seen um so that was cute cool okay so now um but yeah but no there were lots of other good um good shops Oh, my goodness. Someone said, did you try the sweet nuts? I didn't even see the sweet nuts. Where were they? Oh, now I feel like I've missed out. Oh, now I feel sad because we've missed something. Oh, that's oh, I'll have to tell Alison we missed out on sweet nuts. She'll be well upset about that. That's not good. Where were they? Oh. Honestly, sometimes in that show, I felt like you'd round a corner and you'd think you'd finished. And then there was a whole other two rows of things going on. It was it was a good show though it really was, and it was just everyone was so happy to be out and about and shopping again, and crafting and seeing demos and we were demoing our our kits and oh, they liked our kits. People loved our kits, as they would. I'm not surprised. Um, so yeah, we had a good time. Oh, it's Barry and donuts. So you had the back donuts as well. So Barry, where were the nuts? They, oh, I miss those completely. And you know me, I love a good nuts as well. Sweet nuts especially, that's nice. Okay, so we're going to do guacamole in here, which I feel is a little bit, it's not quite so bright as a lime. So we're going to go a bit darker. And uh, we'll, put in, we'll put in some of this dark. And it has a little bit of yellow in it, doesn't it? Avocado, I feel, always. So we're going to put a little bit of, a, a bit of a yellow in there. Which one's this? Light Daffodil Delight. Yeah, let's go with that. So I've got a bit of old olive going in here, a bit of light daffodil delight going on. There we go. And you can just sort of mishmash this around because it doesn't matter. It's going to blend together. Um, and if you want to come back and make it darker in a minute, you can. But I think that kind of looks like guacamole. Maybe I should have done some nachos on the top of this. Oh, we could do. So now this is open like this and you can see the whole picture what you could do and what i might do is um behind you it was behind me says barry really oh how mean was that they put this behind us so well, we didn't obviously we didn't go that way oh i saw the moonshine stand but it was it was they packed it up for the day was it in there Oh, maybe it was in the moonshine stand. I mean, honestly, they had some great stuff going on. Whiskies and all kinds of stuff. Right. So we're going to do some. I'm going to do some of these now. We just need to make sure that we know where the hole is. OK. In fact, I'm going to do this with the die because it's probably easier to see. So if you put the die on there. You can see that we've got some space at the top here and we're probably not going to impact into this circle unless we come right over here. So I'm just going to put some nachos as if they're falling from the sky, because obviously it's me dipping in. Just sort of in here. How's that going to look good? Like that way? I think like that way. Maybe like that way. Oh, I need a bit of, I need a bit of grid. Hold on. Get a bit of grid paper because this helps me work out where I'm going to go. So it's got to come down. It's got to be quite close to the nachos. I mean, to the guacamole. So I might do a couple like that. There we go. And that's probably going to be enough. There we go. See, so now I'm going to have a couple of nachos showing in the circle. So now I can colour those in. And we can have some nachos because I felt it was a little bit on its own, a little bit lonely. <laughs> OK, so for the nachos, I've got pumpkin pie, which I know is a is an orange, but it just 
sometimes your nachos are a bit orangey. So I've got my dark daffodil delight. And we've got somebody who's come on and said, sorry, I'm late. And I don't know who you are because I can't see you. So come and say hello. There we go. OK, so now we're going to do a little bit of um, dark daffodil delight going in. And, you know, I'm not being artistic about these, really, <laughs> as you can tell. I'm just going for some colour. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a little bit of pumpkin pie in there so they're a bit orangey looking. Okay. And then I'm going in with some light. Uh, uh, sorry, some dark lemon lolly. No, where's my dark lemon lolly? Here we go. A bit of dark lemon lolly. It's just a little bit brighter than the Daffodil Delight, so it'll just lift it a little. There we go. A lot of stamping blending, you know, a lot of blending of your uh, alcohol markers, in my view, is a bit of hit and miss and see what works. Oh, Jean's also coming on late. Nice to see you, Jean. Hope you're all doing okay. I don't think I'm ever going to see that second nacho you just got to turn it make sure it's not gonna yeah i think we're gonna be okay we're not gonna see that top nacho so i don't have to color that one okay so now we've just got our lovely little guy cactus obviously green so we'll have all four so dark granny apple and i'm popping that down the sides and also cactuses have those stripes going on don't they a little bit so we're going to give him a couple of stripes a couple of stripes up his arms bit of dark ground here under his armpits. Uh, so that just sort of sets the scene for him having some stripes. Angela. Hi, Angela. The other Angela. Different Angela. <laughs> then we will put on some dark uh, parakeet party. Pop this in. This is a bit brighter, you see. So this is going to make him... I wanted to have a little bit of a shadow on his face, just a tiny bit, tiny bit up here, bit here. Okay, and then these are going to be bright, so we're going to go bright, uh, light, granny apple green, I feel, for the rest of him. And this is when I really start my blending, getting those colours to work together. This is just how I do it, everybody does it differently. You need to find your way of it working with you okay so now we've got most of his color on he's got a bit of a light face there and then put his arms up and now i go back in and i'm going to add some light again okay so now i want my lightest parakeet party and i'm going to make the top of his head light because you know that's where he's getting the sun and the top of his hands And maybe the middle of his face because he bulges out a little bit doesn't he and that'll catch the sun and then we're going to go back in with some light granny apple there we go and see those lines they're still there but they're really like integrated into him and then we'll just dab a little bit of dark into here. And he's still going to be slightly darker, even if the sun's coming from one direction, because he's, he's a curved object. So he's still going to be slightly darker in places on the side. Okay. But, you know, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. At the end of the day, it's a spinner wheel um okay so come on brighten up again brighten up again there we go there he is a little a little cute cute little cactus okay so now we're going to start our assembly okay. so we need a layer at the bottom that we're going to attach everything to and then we need our pieces that we're going to put together and then we're going to need a brad so at the moment stamping up cells 
circular, mini tiny, weeny little eensy bitsy um, circular ones or square. So I'm going to go with square just because the other one I did with a circle. So I'll go with a square because it will offset the circle that we've already got here. Okay, so you push it through and push it through. Oh, it's going to show there. Rats. Okay. I'm going to have to colour that bit. Oh, I forgot it was going to show through there. Rookie mistake. There we go. Okay. Yes, Fiona, cheese nachos. That's exactly what they are. Cheesy nachos. So just because it's on the edge doesn't mean to say we just don't give it the full treatment. You know, it needs to have proper colouring. Otherwise, you'll be. It will just look odd that you haven't finished it off the way you have the others. So just make sure that you always finish off everything that you do, not leave things just a bit around. OK, so. Now we're going to put that through there. Put that through there. Really, you shouldn't have anything showing on this little circular piece. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about a little bit of nacho showing. It'll be fine. Then this is a split pin, or which is the other name for a brad. OK, he needs, he needs some prickles. He does need prickles. I know. I don't know why he hasn't got any prickles. And I just squish it down a little bit with my with my block. Do you see me do that? Press it down with my block. I don't want to do it with my finger because it might hurt. Um, but also you don't you you still want it to be able to turn so it can't be too loose can't be too tight okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here and he's going to have a gap at the bottom like we talked about before but that's it won't you won't have a gap at the bottom if you're using your american size cardstock or if you chop your cardstock down which i know some of you do yeah, but I, you know i don't like wasting anything so i never chop mine down i just make my designs up to fit my card and then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. Now, you can stick him straight, but I feel like he gets a better spin if he's not straight. I'm going to have to take this off because it's it's just oh, it's giving me a slight headache. Oh, not for a whole live, obviously. Um, so yeah, you can take you can take him off. Um, and do it sorry no that's not what i was saying what was i saying you can do it flat if you want to but just be careful not to glue it too tight because otherwise it won't spin properly so now i'm just taking this piece here okay and popping it down there but making sure it's going to never interfere with that spin okay but you know me i don't like i don't like soggy middles now this whole bill is going to be soggy but we'll just have to cope with that um the good thing is it's such a big area that that should be okay and it, it it'll just survive the squish through the post office um but obviously you can't put any glue or attach any glue to the spinny thing otherwise it's not going to spin i know lots of people who've done that by accident by the way so don't feel bad if this is one of you uh so this time I want to do this time. Am I going to do it down the bottom or at the top? Probably still at the top, I think. So just position that in like so. There we go. Uh, and now we have our little spinner and he works. And you can decide which one you want to keep start it off on. I might start it off on the chilies and the limes and then spin around into the nachos. And then finally, it's like, hey, <laughs> aren't they cute? So cute. <laughs> I love Sharon's comment. My mind is blown. Looks very complicated, but actually quite simple. Yeah, exactly. So much of card making, I feel, is exactly this statement. It always looks complicated, but actually it's quite simple. So I'm going to um, mount that on a piece of card. Now, what colour card should we use? Let's have a look. Oh, we could match the pickles because I've got some, I've got some bright uh, red here. Here we go. Match the pickles. I think that's a nice colour. They're not pickles. They're um, 
peppers, aren't they? Peppers or chilies, whichever. You, for me, it would be peppers. Somebody else, it might be chilies, but me, peppers. Okay. We'll just screw that in half. And then on the inside, you could do even more. So let's do some more on the inside as well. Because I do. I do want to do that horse. <laughs> oh, it's not a horse. It's a, I don't know what it is. Is it a llama? It could be anything, really, couldn't it? Um, so fiona's got a question could we not centralize the sooner on the mat card you mean the spinner on the mat card um you can't because you can if you make this piece yourself but if you use the dies that come from stamping up they're sized to to work with a piece of american sized cardstock so if you try and centralize it you'd still have a bigger gap bottom and top than you would side to side which is you know that's perfect that's okay if you want to do that that's that's exactly what um jane did here so this is central or nikki i can't remember this is centralized top and bottom but not but but it's not the same side to side can you see can you see that they're not they're not as wide side to side okay so i i just prefer to put mine this way that's it's just a personal preference you can do what you like that's the joy of it being your card if you if you don't mind having a top and a bottom that's different sizes to your sides then absolutely you can centralize it for me it just gives me a bit of a twitch i'd rather have one big piece that's different in size and then it looks more like you meant it to be like that rather than you just didn't cut a piece of cardstock right so <laughs> just my it's just me um okay so let's put something on the inside of here i don't know really what am i gonna do what should we do should we put, put the it's not a llama is it it's not a llama or an alpaca is it i don't know somebody tell me what this is where's lisa lisa knows where's louise when you need her louise will know all right one of these down here it's one of those horses that have got all those sweets inside and then you smash them open so i know what they are i just don't know what they're called and you smash them open as part. is it an alpaca one of the, the the you know they make them out of papier mache and then and then you um you break them open as during part of their festival and inside there's all lovely sweets okay so we're going to put him down here I like him. He's cute. And then I think we do the sweets. Oh, I could get carried away now. This this is me getting carried away with my um mm -hmm. what are we gonna do with this one? This one needs one of these. Let's have a look. And then I, I know what I want to do. I want to do the little hat and the little man. So we're gonna get, gonna get just all the blocks out. This is why I have multiple blocks. Pinata, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Carol. Oh yeah, look at you. Yes, it's a uh, yeah. There we go. Everybody's saying it now. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. I could not. Re oh, that's a bit mucky. Ugh. That one went away wet. Let's give that a bit of a clean. Oh, goodness, mucky table now. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And then. This one's going to have the little hat. Where's my little hat gone? There he is. I should probably put some of those little sweets out. Have I got the sweets? Yes, got the sweets. There we go. So in the top corner, we can have a little man with a hat. There we go. <laughs> so adorable. I love the moustaches. It's the moustaches. There we go. Oh, look at that. How simple. It's no face. It's just a hat with two eyes, dots, and a moustache. But everybody knows what it is. Okay, so I'm going to do these in the corners. I see these are the sweets that come out from inside the horse or whatever. Pin pinata. There we go. I need to know because I bet they give us one when we go to Mexico. So I'm going to be looking for one to break open. Oh, dear. 
Uh, right. OK, so we're going to do this bit. Um, oh, hi, Jean. Jean's a bit late and so's Elaine. Hello. How are you feeling, Elaine? Are you all right, lovely? Oh, I'm so sorry you couldn't come and see us. I'm having a sweet because I've got a bit of a croaky voice. We had a good show. It was very nice. So these are all bright and cheery. So I'm going to do a bit of colouring on here. Don't worry, I'm still going. We've got another. I'll, I'll be here for. A, I'll be here for a little while longer. I'm just. I'm just block colouring in this guy. And we'll do the rest of him as we go. I don't really use my large large ones uh, so much if they're on small pieces because um, I don't want to go over the edges. I'll come in here. I'll fill it all in, but it does give a nice light colour. Sometimes I find because you're doing... Because you're doing a more gentle stroke or a lighter stroke and the ink's coming out differently on a, um, you know, it's coming out on a brush rather than a nib. It does actually come out as a lighter tone because you're not laying down quite so much ink. And then when you bring it out on the nib, see it looks darker. But that's okay because we can all, we can blend it all in together. Okay, so the horse is definitely going to be like this. You can have a little bit of lighter on his head, a bit darker coming in again. We'll get all the ink going in a minute. It'll look fine. It looks a bit patchy now, but don't panic. Okay, now we have definitely dark on the back here because this is underneath your horse. I'm going to have a bit dark coming this side, a bit dark coming off from the tail, perhaps. And it's going to be a little bit darker coming underneath, just underneath here. And maybe at the back here a little bit. OK, I'll go back over. Carrying all this in, trying to blend it in. Come on, blend in. Start to blend in. There we go. It's hard when you're going round little things. You need to go round them again. There we go. Yeah, be a bit lighter there, maybe. Oh, I've gone quiet. Sorry. I always go quiet when I'm colouring. <laughs> it's not what it is. It's that thing about colouring, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you're tired. Oh, no. You got. You might not go to Turkey. Ugh. Well, you've got, a, you've got 30 days, haven't you, I guess, or just under. So, fingers crossed, those antibiotics really kick in and help. Oh, so annoying. I really hope you do get to go on holiday. It's rubbish, especially to get it in this like in the late summer. It doesn't seem fair. Okay, I'm going to go down here. This is Melon Mambo, Cheryl's favourite colour. One of my favourite colours as well, to be honest. I'm going to go in here. Here. Okay, then we're going to come back in with some of these really bright colours that we used on the front. Let's give him green ears. Don't know why, but we're going to do that. There we go, guacamole in the middle there. Look at that. Okay. So, finish this off like so. And then his hat. This hat can be blue down here and then yellow. Okay. 
Yeah, I know what you mean, because they might not let you fly if you haven't got your results, Elaine. Ugh. Such a pain. Well, I just hope you feel bad, to be honest, because, you know, holidays aside, which I know you want to go, but you've got to feel better. That's the thing. Because... It's no fun if you're not feeling better. Okay, there we go. Put that one there. We'll get some red going on the sweeties. And this one. Do green on the other one. See how colourful your inside of your cards can be? Just cool. And then we've got a little yellow, very light yellow. And I'm just I'm gonna swizzy around the swizzy thing. Now you could obviously stamp these in different colours. So you could have stamped this in just in pink or something like that, or yellow. But if you just add a bit of yellow to the to the black, it still looks good. It still looks pretty. Okay. So let's do that. So this is our so this is now our lovely inside. So we'll pop that down. We do need to still do our label for the front. So hopefully you've learned something today. Um, I teach this and different things, lots of different techniques over in my card making know-how um, membership. Uh, so if you want to come along and learn how to make cards and go from, you know, beginner to confident card maker, then you can jump on over and see our card making know-how.com membership. But we also have paper party going on at the moment. Um, to Really, your last day was yesterday, but if you join today, I'll let you in. But you've got to pay today and come along to pay for party. Uh, you can only do that if you're in the UK. I see a few of you sneaking in there at the last minute, which is cool. Um, but yes, please pop along, join in. The, if you're in the UK, um, you can join me for pay for party. If you're in the US or Australia, you can join my friends, Katina and Alyssa. And... Um, when you join, you will get a quarter pack of all the standard papers that we're doing. You can add on your specialities. Um, you'll get card for card bases and for stamping. And then you'll get a whole weekend of fun paper partying with all of us. So that's that's really good and uh, good to come along. Uh, thank you, Jean. Oh, see, look at this. She loves the membership. She le I'm learning so much. And that's good because that's what it's all about. OK, so let's pop the inside in and then we'll just do some words on the front. I um, don't know what we're going to do on the front this time. What should we do on the front this time? I have to have a look and see what we're going to do. I'm, I'm going to leave the inside blank. I generally leave my insides blank um, because I find that way I can say whatever I want. And if I'm selling my cards, which I do sometimes or I donate them, People don't necessarily want something on the inside because it might not be the same way that they would say something or whatever. Uh, so they generally like to have it blank inside. Plus, it means it's easier for you to put your card into a little baggie without having to actually say what it says on the inside. It's always good. Uh, I like saving time. OK, so for the wording. Oh, look, Trisha's also loving it. Trisha joined us just recently. So that's good, too. Uh, you spice up my life. Your nacho average friend. Long time no taco, spectacular. Oh, wow, loads of good things. I think your nacho average friend is a good one because we've got nachos going on here, haven't we? So we could have it, we could, you know, that's that kind of works with that one. And then we've got the cactus as well, so that's cool. Okay, so let's do a nacho average friend. And let me see, is this going to work? Oh, first off, let me see, is it going to work in here? It will do. That's my quick option. 
or I do it on a thingy and I cut it out. That's my longer option. Let's do it on a thingy and I'll cut it out. So we've got we've got this which will just about cut out everything, or we've got the one that I used on here. Holy guacamole! It's your birthday. This is also part of the die set, as are these stars. Um, so we we'll need to do some fun stuff on the front as well. I send this one to Diane. Sorry, Diane, if you're watching. <laughs> But, you know, because she made me, I might give away one of my others and, and, and um, give this one to Diane to say thank you for my box of goodies. I think that sounds about right. Okay, so there we go. There's that. And then it will fit this because they're designed to fit this. Or, I could, yeah, no, let's do this one. It's different. Let's do this one bit. Okay, although it might look better with a border, to be fair. Let me find the others. So I'm just thinking it might look better with a bit of a slightly bigger border. Oh, yeah, look, then I could do... Is that gonna, oh, yeah, that looks nicer, doesn't it? I like that. Oh, and then I could do little hearts. Look, I've got hearts. Loads of little hearts. So I could just chop out some hearts and put it all over the front. That's cool. Oh, and we still need our little um, pointy thing. Did I have one of those? No, let's do a pointy thing so that people know how to turn things around. OK, so let's do this. Actually, we could make our hearts. Should we do white hearts? White hearts. I feel like I've got a whole bunch of colours going on here. and I need to bring them together. So maybe red. Let's get some poppy parade going. All right, let's do that. We'll run this one through the machine. And then let's get some poppy parade. Back in two ticks, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, here we go. Poppy parade. There we go, that's nice. We can do all three out of that. Ugh. So, and we can do a red little thingy. <laughs> thingy. Now, I'm going to give you some advice. We want to do these little tiny arrows. See how small that is? Then you're not going to be able to glue the back of that. I can absolutely guarantee you, you're not going to be able to glue the back of that. So, what I like to do is get a tiny piece of this stuff which is the um, adhesive sheets. That's the word I'm looking for. And we're just going to pop this on one end of this strip. Okay. So we're going to rub it down and then pull that off. Pop that on there. And... Oh, I like that. Yes, Fiona says if they had a stamp Asta La Vista, it would, it works. It would be good for anyone going on holiday. Yes, it would. Asta La Vista, right? And then I can do the arrow on that end, and I'll do the hearts further down. So let's just get the. Um, I'll pop the. Right, so we've got the words going in on one side. I'm going to chop this off here so I know where the I know where the glue is. So that's the gluey one. So we'll pop the little arrows in the middle there. And then we'll pop the hearts all the way along here. And then we cut them all out in one go. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. This is going to look good, I think. Ooh, sorry for the shaking. Okay. Right, so that's that. And let's get all these off of here. 
There we go. Put that down there. So I don't trip over on it. Right, here we go. So now we've got our your Nacho average friend. I think I'm going to put that in the middle. We'll have some hearts coming along here. And then another little one up here. That's cute. And then we've got these little arrows here. And this one has got adhesive sheets on the back. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. It's a bit, see it's white now on one side, but still Poppy Parade on the other. And that's because that's the sheet. So you just have to peel that very gently off. And then, whoops, position it uh, alongside here. Sure, maybe coming down from underneath here, like so. There we go. So that's that's basically to try and help people to understand that they have to turn it, like so, which I think it works. Um, and the other little one, you can layer just here so that they know they have to do something with that circular, like so. So you're really giving people directions on how to how to use your card, which is handy because sometimes sometimes people don't know how to do that, right? So there we go. OK, so then we'll do these flat because we've already lifted the whole card up. Uh, although, actually, if I did it in the middle, since this is going in the middle, going sort of there-ish, there's actually no dimensionals there. So when it flattens down, it'll be OK. Probably still go for flat rate. Okay. That just in the middle there. Is that straight? Oof, kind of. Mm. No, don't get stuck under there. Come back. Not straight, pet. Not straight. Lift. There we go. I need to get my eyes in. It's the dots that put me off, I think. Um, and then my, and then the hearts. Evening, Julie. The hearts all put in here like this. Uh, does anybody else talk? You, you all talk to yourself. I mean, really, I'm talking to you, but it. Sometimes I feel like I'm still talking to myself when when I'm just saying things like, no, not like that. No, no. <laughs> it's just me being what I do every night, every day when I'm crafting. There we go. OK, and then to finish it off, we need some sparkles, obviously. So what sparkles have we got? We've got anything that's red. Oh, some of these these are nice these are new oh angela i missed your comment earlier i've suddenly realized i never answered you the new the christmas catalog goes live tomorrow no uh wednesday the 6th you can order from the 6th oh look we've got some really green ones up there as well so let's put some of those you know this is kind of like fiestery isn't it and it brings in those circle dots from here so we'll do this I'll do this, I'll do this, okay, right, like so, like so, I think, I think we're done, start off with our lemons and peppers, limes and peppers rather, Lots of, get all these dies out of the way. So it's a good set of dies and a good set of stamps. Um, you can buy them separately because they don't come as a bundle or anything. So the give it give it a whirl dies. Um, do the mechanism, and then the uh, taco fiesta does all of the stamping. Uh, how do you get a Christmas catalogue, says somebody. I'm not sure who that is asking that. Uh, place an order with me um, and you'll get a Christmas catalogue. If you've placed an order in the last three months, you'll get a Christmas catalogue. 
Um, obviously, you have to be in the UK to do that. Or if you're booked up to come to one of my retreats, you will be getting a Christmas catalogue too. So can you see? Oh, there we go. There's, there's the sparklies. They look really plain. And then you catch the light and it's like, oh, OK, they're a bit of sparkly fun. So, um, yeah. So what do you think then? Do you like the idea of spinner cards? Have I shown you enough? Um, oh, it's Jane. Um, yeah, so if you're coming to retreat, so anyone coming to Christmas retreat or if you ha place an order with me, then you will get a catalogue, Jane. A uh, question from Betty. Um, did you use basic white regular or thick? Just regular because it's thin enough to go underneath and it's um it's fine to to stamp on so yeah this is just regular um i don't i mean it, it's not going to get so much use that it needs to be thick i don't think betty i think i think regular is fine um sharon says love it such a great card good that is fab <laughs> right okay then so hopefully you like these so I've got these two. This one's with an old stamp set, but still the same dies. So it just gives you an idea of some different variety that you can do. I just love the cactus with a spinner card. And you could put anything in there. You could put moons or stars or planets, astronauts. You could put elves and fairies and mushrooms. Oh, that's that. Oh, no, that's given me a whole different idea of, of a card to do. Um yeah, you could put loads of things in the spinner. You could have multiple holes and you could have all of them, like you could have two matching going on at the same time. You can do various things with spinner cards. I'm just showing you the basics now. Um, and yeah, you can try cutting it on your own or you can purchase the spin the wheel. Get, give it a whirl dies. Um, so if you're in the UK or anyone in um, any of the European countries, then you can shop with me there. Um, thank you, Hazel. That's nice. That's very kind. Interesting morning. Lovely. Glad that you're finding it soon. Gnomes. Yes, gnomes would be good, Betty. Um, Elaine would go with fairies. Of course you would. I was just thinking that. That would be great, wouldn't it? With some of the little little um, fairies or even the little um, mice or whatever. Carol says it's given me an idea for my next card. You'll show if you're happy with it. Show it anyway and then we can tell you that it's good enough okay so don't panic um <laughs> tracy trisha says lovely jean says amazing love them all good okay oh and trisha would go with gnomes or witches yes little witches flying through the sky would be lovely wouldn't it that'd be great oh i'm loving all the ideas now for everyone um i think it's it's fabulous i could do a whole creation on them you could do a whole class right okay so Let's give one of these away um, because, you know, I do that. So we'll do so we'll do that. So let's go to here. Uh, StreamYard. Share that. We are doing this one, making easy spinner cards. I hope they've been easy. I mean, I've only made one card, but I've done a lot of colouring, a lot of talking, and I've done the inside as well. So, you know, I think so. I think hopefully I've shown you enough. So 23 unique draws. That's great. Let's see. Oh, entries, should we say? Let's see who's going to win a card. Who's going to be? I love this bit. It's all so exciting. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? It's Elaine. Oh, see, Elaine, you could needed cheering up. And it knew that you needed cheering up. So that's fantastic. Oh, brilliant. I'm so glad. Let's turn that on. It's a little bit bright. Um so yay oh santa and reindeer yes i mean so many things yes christmas presents christmas whatever's oh so many things we could do so congratulations to elaine uh, i will send you one of these to cheer you up and hope that you're feeling better soon and for everyone else who's watching thank you so much for being here and if you want to um shop with me it's very simple if you want to buy any of these yourself you just head to queenpipcards.com slash store forward slash store so queenpipcards.com forward slash store very simple uh, and i do hope that we will see some spinner cards popping up in the group uh, if you're not a member of my big facebook group then please come and join us card making for begin 
card making for beginners and beyond uh, with my face at the front of it. So if you can see that, then if that's the right group, come and join us. We'd love to see you. And I'd love, love, love to see some of your spinner cards in the group. And if these are a bit too technical for you at the moment, because I do know that some people in that group and some people watching us are beginner card makers, then don't panic. OK, don't do it yet. Wait until you're a little bit more confident. Wait until you've been through some of the masterclasses. If you're in the membership, uh, make sure you understand your card sizing and layering guides because layering is really important on this. Make sure that you're getting your gluing your layers on straight, which is also important. And then maybe also um, if you want to don't necessarily do them with blends, you could just stamp them with images. Um, I know obviously you'll have to have gone through the die cutting and you'll have to have a die cutting machine to do it like this. So, um, yeah, just make sure that you're not overreaching and then going to get frustrated. OK, but I hope I've made it simple enough that if you are just starting out or you've you've done some cards and you've got a die cutting machine and you are um, really you know, ready to give something a little bit more adventurous a go, then you'll give this a try. All right. Thanks ever so much for watching this week. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. I've no idea what I'm doing um, next week. It's in the book. It's listed. I'll work it out when I when I know and you'll know as soon as I do. <laughs> and I'll load up my um, my event so that you know to come and watch. Thanks ever so much for being here. Um, and I do hope that you enjoy these. If you do and you don't live in the UK and you would love to support me, you can buy me a coffee or a cup of tea in my case. Uh, there is a link on my YouTube channel for you to do that in the description below this video. So if you do want to support me, you can do it that way or you can join the membership or you can come to class because I do run classes once a month, uh, which you can always book into. All righty. Take care for now, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely rest of the week and I'll see you soon. Take care for now.